Hi everyone, welcome to your Writer's Minute with moi. It occurred to me today that while I love the arts, acting, singing, video editing, even makeup, really language is my milieu. After all, I am a writer and so words and structure are my forte. It also occurred to me that English is the greatest language on earth. It's the richest language, and since some say it has the most vocabulary compared to any other language, it would suggest a priori that it stands solid on its own. I'll commence now with my following points of this fascinating issue, not in sotto voce, because I believe this needs to be heard. If we stop to think about it, English has carte blanche to act any way it wants. It evolves constantly with new slang, new expressions, and that's really comment il font. While this is true, it doesn't necessarily mean that the language is getting better. Au contraire. One irritant to me is this dérégard among the youth to say like all the time. This expression that I hear ad nauseum really goes into uber overuse, though, when people get drunk. The only good thing with that, though, is once they've turned a bit sensé, as they say vino, in vino veritas, so you learn just how limited their vernacular really is. And while it's sad, it's amusing. Even if the zeitgeist today is to shorten idioms or expressions or even use words in context that really originally didn't mean what some use it for today, it doesn't make it right. Example gratia, e.g., or sick, or idist, i.e., that's so gay. But English in its original form is simply beautiful. Dare I say even chic? It has a certain je ne sais quoi about it that few can really articulate in meaningful description. I could write a book about the uniqueness and loveliness about the English language, but don't worry, I would not use a nom de plume. Or even my nom de guerre, even though I have several. Now, I'm not saying that I'm an aficionado when it comes to my own language, but some say I'm a bona fide expert in the area. Especially since I was an English teacher for 10 years, that might make me a bit more en courant on the subject more so than others. What distresses me most about my language, though, is the downhill slide I see it taking within my own society and that of others which hold it as their native tongue. You may even find that I'm wrought with angst from time to time on the matter because as this is something that I take very seriously. I find it a bit cliché that Americans are the ones I see suffering from this case du jour of willingly ignorant behavior. Some people try to reassure me that things will get better, but their beau geste is really spent in vain, as I know things will only get worse. I know the average housefrau is probably rolling her eyes right about now, but it needs to be said. I try to make light of the situation, even throw out a bon mot here and there on the topic, but really, it's a moot point. My advice to those looking to edify themselves more on the subject of the English language, carpe diem. There's no time like the present, so read, 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 and learn, learn, learn. Now, I really don't want to make a cultural or even social faux pas here. I don't mean to offend anyone's speaking or writing skills. I myself don't claim to always speak with the most accurate savoir faire, but someone has got to speak up on the matter. The English language is dying, and we really need to have a gloss nost. It's really ipso facto that the language as we know it is deteriorating. So I suggest we have an open discussion on the matter. Oops. <laughs> Déjà vu. Mia culpa. The maison scene today is really terrible, don't you think? On Facebook alone, I see constant misspellings of words, grammar, and punctuation errors left and right. Not the banner. Seriously, some of those mistakes I learned not to make in kindergarten. Sadly, this is the world we live in now. And when I point this out to some people on the internet, I believe the mon genre would be that I am a persona non grata, since I get less than grateful replies from said users. But hey, I'm not asking for anything in return for this pro bono work I'm doing on the web. My language services are free of charge. However, if someone offered me some quid pro quo, I wouldn't mind some personal makeup tips from Candy Johnson. Needless to say, I am referred to by many as a grammar Nazi. And after a while, I simply just say, okay, finito. 
I do have to admit a guilty pleasure of experiencing some schadenfreude when someone I really dislike can't spell their correctly. It makes me giggle. Really though, writing two, two, or two incorrectly on public forums should be verboten. Honestly, all I really want is for life to go back to the way it was a time ago, back when there was a certain joie de vivre that came from using lovely syntax and sound, and no, Beyonce doesn't count. My point here is really to push the point that English doesn't need a helping hand from any foreign force. It's capable of holding its own, solo. Well, after speaking, such a long time on such an important issue. I am kaput, as you can imagine. I'm sure this obsequious rambling on about the language that I love is becoming a bit ad absurdum, but I really don't care. I will leave you with this coup de gras, though. Now that I've finished telling you all that I wanted on this matter, I can honestly say, vini vedi vici. <laughs> Ciao!